to lead you upward. Salika Hasutta, The Discourse on Effacement by Jnana Ponika Tera. Thus have I heard. Once the Blessed One was staying at Sawati in Jesus Grove, Anatta Pintaka's monastery. Then one evening the Venerable Mahachunta rose from medita meditative seclusion and went to the Blessed One. Having paid homage to him, he sat down at one side and spoke thus to the Blessed One. Venerable Sir, there are these various views that arise in the world concerning self-doctrines or world doctrines. Does the abandoning and discarding of such views come about in a monk who is only at the beginning of his meditative reflections. Junta, as those several views that arise in the world concerning self-doctrines and world doctrines, in the object in which these views arise, in which they underlie and become active, is seen with right wisdom as it actually is. Thus, this is not mine, this I am not, this is not myself. Then, the abandoning of these views, the discarding, takes place in him who thus sees. The eight attainments. It may be, Junta, that some monk, detached from sense objects, detached from unsalutary ideas, enters into the first absorption which is born of detachment, accompanied by thought, conception, and discourse of thinking, and filled with rapture and joy, he then might think. I am abiding in effacement, but in the Noble One's discipline it is not these attainments that are called effacement. In the Noble One's discipline they are called abidings in, ab abidings in ease here and now. It may be that after the stilling of thought, conception, and discourse of thinking, he gains the inner tranquillity and harmony of the second absorption that is free of thought, conception, and discourse of thinking, born of concentration and filled with rapture and joy. And he then might think, I am abiding in effacement, but in the Noble One's discipline it is not these attainments that are called effacement. In the Noble One's discipline, they are called abiding in ease here and now. It may be that by entirely transcending the sphere of infinite space, thinking, consciousness is infinite. Some monk enters and abides in the sphere of infinite consciousness, and he then might think, I am abiding in effacement, but in the Noble One's discipline it is not these attainments that are called effacement. In the Noble One's discipline they are called peaceful abidings. It may be that by entirely transcending the sphere of infinite consciousness, some monk enters and abides in the sphere of nothingness, and he then might think, I am abiding in effacement. But in the Noble One's discipline, it is not these attainments that are called effacement. In the Noble One's discipline, they are called 
peaceful abidings. And it may be that by entirely transcending this fear of nothingness, some monk enters and abides in this fear of neither perception nor non-perception. And he then might think, I am abiding in effacement. But in the Noble One's discipline, it is not these attainments that are called effacement. In the Noble One's discipline, they are called peaceful abidings. Effacement. But here in Chunda, effacement should be practiced by you with us. Others will be harmful. We shall not be harmful here. Others will kill living beings. We shall abstain from killing living beings here. Others will take what is not given. We shall abstain from taking what is not given here. Others will be unchaste, but we shall be chaste here. Others will speak falsehood. We shall abstain from false speech here. Others will speak maliciously. We shall abstain from malicious speech here. Others will spe speak harshly. We shall abstain from harsh speech here. Others will gossip. We shall abstain from gossip here. Others will be covetous. We shall not be covetous here. Others will have thoughts of ill will. We shall not have thoughts of ill will here. Others will have wrong views. We shall have right view here. Others will have wrong intentions. We shall have right intentions here. Others will use wrong speech. We shall use right speech here. Others will commit wrong actions. We shall do right actions here. Others will have wrong livelihood. We shall have right livelihood here. Others will make wrong effort. We shall make right effort here. Others will have wrong mindfulness. We shall have right mindfulness here. Others will have wrong concentration. We shall have right concentration here. Others will have wrong knowledge. We shall have right knowledge here. Others will have wrong deliverance. We shall have right deliverance here. Others will be overcome by sloth and torpor. We shall be free from sloth and torpor here. Others will be agitated. We shall be unagitated, unagitated here. Others will be doubting. We shall be free from doubt here. Others will be angry. We shall not be angry here. Others will be hostile. We shall not be hostile here. Others will denigrate. We shall not denigrate here. Others will be domineering. We shall not be domineering here. Others will be envious. We shall not be envious here. Others will be jealous. We shall not be jealous here. Others will be fraudulent. We shall not be fraudulent here. Others will be hypocrites. We shall not be hypocrites here. Others will be obstinate. We shall not be obstinate here. Others will be arrogant. We shall not be arrogant here. Others will be difficult to admonish. We shall be easy to admonish here. Others will have bad friends. We shall have noble friends here. Others will be negligent. We shall be heedful here. 
others will be faithless. We shall have faith. We shall be faithful here. Others will be shameless. We shall be shameful here. Others will be without conscience. We, sh we shall have conscience here. Others will have no learning. We shall be learned here. Others will be idle. We shall be energetic here. Others will lack in mindfulness. We shall be established in mindfulness here. Others will be without wisdom. We shall be endowed with wisdom here. Others will misapprehend according to their individual views, hold on to them tenaciously, and not easily discard them. We shall not misapprehend according to individual views, nor hold on to them tenaciously, but shall discard them with ease. Thus, effacement can be done. The Arising of Thought Jinda, I say that even the arising of thought concerned with salutary things and ideas is of great importance. Do not speak of bodily acts and, co and words conforming to such thought. Therefore, Jinda, the thought should be produced, others will be harmful. We shall not be harmful here. The, the thought should be produced. Others will kill living beings. We shall abstain from killing living beings here. And as before all the way through, the thought should be produced. Others will misapprehend according to their individual views holding on to them tenaciously and not easily discard them. We shall not misapprehend according to individual views, nor hold on to them tenaciously, but we shall discard them with ease. Avoidance Suppose, Chunda, there were an uneven road and another even road by which to avoid it, and suppose there were an uneven ford and an another even for it by which to avoid it. So too, a person given to harmfulness has none harming by which to avoid it. A person given to killing living beings has abstention from killing by which to avoid it. And all the way through, a person given to misapprehending according to, the, to his individual views to holding on to them tenaciously and not discarding them easily has, has none misapprehension of individual views none holding on tenaciously and ease in discarding by which to avoid it the way upward chunda as all unsalutary states lead downward, and all salutary states lead upward, even so, Chunda, a person given to harmfulness has harmlessness to lead him upward. A person given to killing living beings has abstention from killing to lead him upwards. A person given to taking what is not given has abstention from taking what is not given to lead him upwards. A person given to unchastity has chastity to lead him upwards. A person given to false speech has abstention from false speech to lead him upwards. A person given to malicious speech has abstention from malicious speech to lead him upwards. A person given to harsh speech has abstention from harsh speech to lead him upwards. A person given to gossip has abstention from gossip to lead him upwards. A person given to covetousness has non-covetousness 
to lead him upwards. A person given to thoughts of ill will has none ill will to lead him upwards. A person given to wrong view has right view to lead him upwards. A person given to wrong intention has right intention to lead him upwards. A person given to wrong speech has right speech to lead him upwards. A person given to wrong action has right action to lead him upwards. A person given to wrong livelihood has right livelihood to lead him upwards. A person given to wrong effort has right effort to lead him upwards. A person given to wrong mindfulness has right mindfulness to lead him upwards. A person given to wrong concentration has right concentration to lead him upwards. A person given to wrong knowledge has right knowledge to lead him upwards. A person given to wrong deliverance has right deliverance to lead him upwards. A person overcome by sloth and torpor has freedom from sloth and torpor to lead him upwards. A person given to agitation has non-agitation to lead him upwards. A person given to doubting has freedom from doubt to lead him upwards. A person given to anger has freedom from anger to lead him upwards. A person given to hostility has freedom from hostility to lead him upwards. A person given to denigrating has none denigrating to lead him upwards. A person given to domineering has none domineering to lead him upwards. A person given to envy has none envy to lead him upwards. A person given to jealousy has none jealousy to lead him upwards. A person given to fraud has none fraud to lead him upwards. A person given to hypocrisy has none hypocrisy to lead him upwards. A person given to obstinacy has none obstinacy to lead him upwards. A person given to arrogance has none arrogance to lead him upwards. A person difficult to admonish has amenability by to lead him upwards. A person given to making bad friends has making good friends by which to lead him upwards. A person given to negligence has heedfulness to lead him upwards. A person given to faithlessness has faith to lead him upwards. A person given to shamelessness has shame to lead him upwards. A person without conscience has conscience to lead him upwards. A person without learning has acquisition of great learning to lead him upwards. A person given to idleness has energetic endeavor to lead him upwards. A person without mindfulness has establishment of mindfulness to lead him upwards. A person without wisdom has wisdom by which to lead him upwards. A person given to misapprehending according to his individual views, holding on to them tenaciously and not discarding them easily, has none misapprehension of individual views, none holding on tenaciously and ease and discarding by which to lead him upwards. Quenching Chunda It is impossible that one who himself sunk in the mire should pull out another who is sunk in the mire. But it is possible, Chunda, that one not sunk in the mire himself 
should pull out another who is sunk in the mire. It is not possible, Chunda, that one who himself who is himself not restrained, not disciplined, and not quenched as to his passions, should make others restrained and disciplined, should make them attain to the full quenching of passions. But it is possible, Chunda, that one who himself is restrained, disciplined, and fully quenched as to his passions, should make others restrained and disciplined, should make them attain to the full quenching of passions. Even so, Chunda, a person given to harmfulness has harmlessness by which to attain the full quenching of it. A person given to killing living beings has abstention from killing living beings by which to attain the full quenching of it. And all the way through, to a person given to misapprehending according to his individual views, holding on to them tenaciously and not discarding them easily, has none misapprehension of individual views, none holding on tenaciously and ease in discarding by which to attain quenching of them. Conclusion Thus, Chunda, I have shown you the instruction on effacement. I have shown to you the instruction on thoughts arising. I have shown to you the instruction on avoidance. I have shown to you the instruction on the way upward. I have shown to you the instruction on quenching. What can be done for his disciples by a master who seeks their welfare and has compa compassion and pity for them? That I have done for you, Chunda. There are these roots of trees. There are empty places. Meditate, Chunda. Do not delay, lest you regret, lest you later regret it. This is my message to you. Thus spoke the Blessed One. Satisfied, the Venerable Chunda rejoiced in the Blessed One's words. The concluding verse added by the Terras of the First Council. Deep like the ocean is this sutan Sutanta on effacement dealing with 44 items, showing them in five sections. Sadu, Sadu, Sadu.